Hey, welcome back to Infinite Jeff, the project where I, Jeff, read the book Infinite Jest to you, internet people, one page at a time, one day at a time. This is page 142 of the novel Infinite Jest, published 1996 by David Foster Wallace. Page 142. Let's, 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 let's fucking do this. Yeah. Rarely film tight or full front. He is usually one part of a frenetic moving pan by the program's camera. In contrast, Hawaii Five O's camera crew never even used the dolly, favoring a steady triopic, triop, tripodic close up on McGarrett's face that today seems more reminiscent of romantic po- portraiture than film drama. What kind of hero comes after McGarrett's Irish shized modern cowboy? The lone man of action riding lonely herd in paradise. Ferillo's Fili- is a whole different kind of loneliness. The postmodern hero was a heroic part of the herd, responsible for all of what is part of, responsible to everyone. His lonely face is placid under pressure as a cow's face. The jut jawed hero of action, Hawaii 5 becomes the mild-eyed hero of reaction, Hill Street Blues, a decade later. And, as we have observed thus far in our class, we, as a North American audience, have favored the more stoic corporate hero of reactive probity ever since. Some might be led to argue trapped in the reactive moral ambiguity of post and post-post modern culture. But what comes next? What North American hero can hope to succeed the placid Frank? We await, I predict, the hero of non-action, the catatonic hero, the one beyond calm, divorced from all stimulus, carried here and there across sets by burly extras whose blood blood sings with retrograde amines. All right, then we have a uh, big, bold, another bold pronouncement of this, what the next part is. It says, enormous electrolysis-rashed journalist Helen Steepley's only putative published article before beginning her soft profile on Phoenix Cardinals punter Oren J. Incandenza, and her only putative published article to have anything overtly to do with good old metropolitan Boston. Metropolitan Boston. (laughs) 10th of August, in the year of the Depend Adult Undergarment, four years after optical theorist, entrepreneur, tennis academician... Academician? Academician? Academician and avant-garde filmmaker James O. Incandenza took his own life by putting his head in a microwave oven. Moment Magazine has learned that the tragic fate of the second North American citizen to receive a Jarvik the Ninth exterior artificial heart has suddenly been kept from the North American people. The woman, a 46-year-old Boston accountant with irreversible restenosis of the heart, responded so well to the replacement of her defective heart with a Jarvik 9 exterior artificial heart that within weeks she was able to resume the active lifestyle she had so enjoyed before stricken, pursuing her active schedule with the extraordinary prosthesis, prosthesis portably installed in a stylish Etienne... And that is page number 142. I don't know why I did that just now, but you gotta, yeah, it's yours now. You own it. Sorry. (sighs) All right, cats and kittens, ladies and germs. I'm out of here. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're cool. Fuck you. I'm out of here. Peace.